Alma the Younger repents. Alma was the leader of the church in Zarahemla. He helped the people obey God's commandments. Many people joined the church. They obeyed God's commandments. Some people did not listen to Alma. They tried to make trouble for the church. Alma had a son. He was named Alma too. Alma the younger and the four sons of King Mosiah made trouble for the church. Alma the younger talked to many people. Some of the people followed him. They left the church and became wicked. One day, Alma the Younger and the four sons of King Mosiah went out to make trouble. An angel came and talked to them in a loud voice. The young men fell to the ground. They were afraid. The angel told Alma the Younger the church was the true church. The angel asked Alma the Younger why he was making trouble for the church. The angel told Alma the Younger to stop making trouble. Then the angel went away. The young men knew that the angel had great power. They were afraid because they had been wicked. Alma the younger was so afraid he could not speak or move. The four sons of King Mosiah carried Alma the younger to his father. The four young men told Alma what had happened to his son. Alma was happy. He had been praying for his son. His prayers were answered. He told the people God had sent the angel. Alma and other church leaders fasted and prayed. They asked God to make Alma the Younger well. After two days and nights, Alma the Younger stood up. He was well. Alma the Younger told the people he prayed to God. He asked God to forgive him. Alma the Younger knew he had been wicked. He felt very sorry for making trouble. Alma the Younger repented. God forgave him. Alma the Younger knew God loved him. Alma the Younger was very happy God forgave him. He loved God. After this, Alma the Younger and the four sons of King Mosiah went to many cities. They told the people to obey God's commandments. They helped many people to believe in Jesus Christ and obey God's commandments. God blessed Alma the Younger and the sons of King Mosiah.